Greetings to all of humanities really a joy and a pleasure to be out here as usual in nature being well grounded and listening to the song of the running river and the river producing everything in terms of energy vibration and frequency also because everything is energy vibration and frequency and the river always ends in the sea and the sea reflects eternity for there's no beginning and there's no ending of the sea and our life here is mapped out in nature teaching us that this walk of life is from humanity to discovering our true divinity therefore I want to speak to you concerning how Abdullah taught Neville Gallagher who is God and the reason why I chose to speak on how Abdullah taught Neville Gallagher who is God Neville Gallagher having grew up or uh, being born sorry I should even say born and grew up in the Caribbean and I been born and grew, and, and grew up in the Caribbean also I understand the lifestyle of the Caribbean and how much they inject religion in the school system and how much we are programmed with religion from a very very young age and Neville also disclosed an experience he had as a little boy while he was attending school whereby this man was so religious that he took his belt and beat him and mercifully because he said take up thy belt and walk instead of saying take up thy, thy couch and walk that alone is teaching you how much religion is engulfed or in sync in the people of the Caribbean how much the people in the Caribbean is engulfed in religion and, 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 and in idolatry that you want to take a, 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 a little boy, a little girl and beat him and mercifully because he didn't say couch, he said bed, take up thy bed and walk now as I said before Neville having grew, um, born and grew up in the Caribbean, Barbados to be specific and being educated in Barbados most likely he will have had the same belief like 99.999% of the people in Barbados are around the entire Caribbean I should say whereby they believe in a power outside of themselves whether by they believe that God is a man in the sky looking down to see whatever you do wrong and willing to punish you and to judge you and condemn you therefore my brother my sisters even in Neville's own words he said that his parents taught him about God and they taught him about this outside God and they taught him about Jesus Christ and they taught him that Jesus Christ was a man who existed 2,000 years ago but when Neville wanted to return to Barbados and he had no money and he had no means of getting there because it was a time of a great depression Abdullah taught him how to discover his God self how to discover the creative power within himself Abdullah taught him how to understand the scripture that says to come and buy without money Abdullah taught him how to understand that it is his real worth his real value his real money his real uh, medium of exchange is basically his thoughts he also taught him how to come to the realization that the things that were given to us for free that we are taught not to put any value in them like all our mental faculties 
And so, this experience revolutionized Neville in such a way that he even awake within himself. And I can say that because it happened to me also. And discover the invisible man within. Discover that God is within. So by learning to believe in himself, he discovered God. And myself, I'm a little boy. I beat my chest with tears in my eye, crying, asking myself, who am I? And who is God? And from a very young age, I set out to discover who am I and who is God for my own self. And I decided to take the path of Christianity. And for 25 years, I sought for myself. And I sought for God. I want to find God. I found myself. I want to find myself. I found God. But I come to realize that God wasn't really hidden. The truth is right before us. But we are taught to look away from the truth and look outside of ourselves. That's the reason why my brother and my sisters are always pointed to look within. And Abdullah taught Neville how to look within, to discover the God within, to discover the Creator within, and to understand that it is his own thoughts that is creating his reality, and that he can create his reality consciously instead of unconsciously. So my brother and my sisters, the millions of people all around the world who's benefiting from the lectures or the teachings of Neville Garden. They are doing so because there was one who was willing to teach how to discover God, how to look within, how to discover that the truth is within. And this man didn't see race, he didn't see color, he had no partiality. All he had was grace, which is unconditional love, which is unmerited favor. He wasn't doing that to Neville for anything. His motive was to bring a message of self-realization to all of humanity, to set them free by pointing them to look inwardly to discover their true divinity and to understand that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. So with all of that being said, my brother and my sisters, I'm quite grateful for Abdullah to see he had such a mindset, to see he was so connected, to see that he wasn't thinking about places all around that says no Negro was allowed. He would buy his own ticket to go to the opera because he understood who he was. So when you know who you are, you come to realize if there's no enemy within, the enemy without can do you no harm. And if you do not have fear, you will not be easily controlled. Because when you're fearless, you understand that you conquer. You become an overcomer. And you'll be able to say, oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? Because many people are afraid of death. But how can you die if you never live? So my brother and my sisters, death is just an expansion of life. Okay, so with all of that being said, my brother and my sisters, you know, as I said before, Abdullah taught Neville how to discover God or how to know who is God. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm teaching you how to discover who is God, how to know who is God. Because that was my ambition from a little boy. My ambition wasn't to get the biggest house or to get the most education or to get all of these things that people just be going after. I wanted was to know who am I. So I was seeking for my true identity. That's the reason why I always say this, that the universal question of life is who am I? And when the answer comes, it always has to be I am. I am that I am, which means I am whatever I believe myself to be. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So I believe I've gotten my, my, my message across to you. Okay, and I want to thank you very much and I want to encourage you. 
If you haven't subscribed as yet, to subscribe or to like or to comment. And to remember that this message is for all of humanity to look inwardly. Also, I'm encouraging you to follow me on Instagram at Black Mad Guru and also to check out my, my new website, blackmadguru.com. Let us build together because we are one. There's only one universal consciousness. Okay, so this message as I bring, to you, bring it to you, I always remind you, it is the single eye message of self-realization of which Matthew 622 says, if I be single, your whole body will be full of light. And it wasn't until I experienced the single eye by awakening within my own self and exit the skull and find my body to be the empty tomb and understand that the death, burial and resurrection and the birth of the Christ is actually the same thing that I'm able to bring this message to you and all put in my hand on my crown chakra and saying to you that when you have the experience you come to realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N and that is the dawning of a new day thus the reason why in Psalms 84 11 it says the sun the Lord thy God sorry is a sun and a shield and no good thing would he withhold from you and in Malachi 4 and 2 it says that the sun as in the S-U-N of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings and that have happened to me and whenever the sun rises it brings healing it brings new birth that's why you have four seasons but springtime is when new life is brought in birth in forth and whatever the sun shines upon it brings forth in abundance thus here is why i always say the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun for without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. Therefore, my brother and my sister, my encouragement to you, just like Abdullah would encourage you, is to use your mind power, which is your solar power, to achieve your every desire. So that means I want to say, please, love you all. I'm out.